World, Nicholas Coriano here with Servitude Intelligent Relations, here to talk about best practices when hiring an investor relations firm or a marketing firm for your public company. The number one tip I have for you today is create an engagement agreement or an actionable benchmark calendar. So they both basically work the same way. They give you the benchmarks and agreements of what you guys are going to cover in the contract. So um, what I like to do with my clients is put together a calendar of events. This gives you what's going to happen and when it's going to happen. So whether it's the issuance of press releases, whether it's the writing of the press releases, whether it's the development of a business plan or a pitch deck or the revamping of a website, the calendar lays out exactly when it's going to get done, when it's going to get double checked, when the process is done and when it starts. So that's one of the biggest things you should have with any marketing firm, investor relations firm. What it does is it sets clear expectations. There's no um, disagreements um, and everything works smoothly. So if you guys are thinking about hiring an investor relations firm or a marketing firm, remember, put together a calendar or an engagement agreement. If they don't give you one of these things, what ends up happening is there's a lot of back and forth as to what work should have been done or what work could have been done. And there's really no way to benchmark progress. So put together a calendar or an, uh, an agreement, really a contract um, that clearly delineates the deliverables, right? What am I getting for my money that I'm paying? When does the agreement start? When does it end? Um, and when do these deliverables happen? So uh, simple things like press releases can cause turmoil, right? Because if someone says, well, the press release has to be distributed, we're going to distribute 12 press releases for you throughout the year. And then they're looking at management to write the press release or vice versa. Management's looking at them to write the press release and the day for distribution comes and nobody wrote the press release, right? So even just a press release, you have to have the distribution date, have to have the content production date, you have to have the revisal date because you can't just produce content and then put it out there, right? It's not going to end up being quality. You want to have the revision date. So little things like that should be benchmarked throughout uh, the engagement. That way, again, there's no miscommunication as to what you guys are doing. If you guys need help with investor relations or marketing campaigns, hit us up at Servitude Intelligent Relations. Um, we've helped everybody from the small startup to the large public company with, again, business planning, marketing, business execution, intellectual property consulting, and a lot more. So if you guys need help, contact us. Hope you guys appreciate these tips of the day that I've been putting out. If you guys have any comments on best practices, put them in the comments section below. We'd love to hear about it and um, hope you guys are rocking. Have a great day.